The Tennessee 1st Congressional District is the Congressional District of Northeast Tennessee, including all of Carter, Cock, Green, Hamblin, Hancock, Hawkins, Johnson, Sullivan, Unicoi, and Washington counties and parts of Jefferson County and Sevier County. It is largely coextensive with the Tennessee portion of the Tri Cities region of Northeast Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. Cities and towns represented within the district include Blountville, Bristol, Church Hill, Elizabethton, Irwin, Greenville, Johnson City, Jonesboro, Kingsport, Morristown, Mountain City, Newport, Pigeon Forge, Roan Mountain, Rogersville, Sneedville, Sevierville, and Tusculum. The first district seat in the U.S. House of Representatives has been held by Republicans since 1881. The district was created in 1805 when the at-large seat was divided among multiple districts. The district's current congressman, Phil Rowe was first elected in 2008 after defeating one-term incumbent David Davis in the Republican primary. Topic. Political characteristics. The first has generally been a very secure voting district for the Republican Party since the American Civil War, and is one of only two ancestrally Republican districts in the state the other being the neighboring 2nd District. Republicans or their antecedents have held the seat continuously since 1881 and for all but four years since 1859, while Democrats or their antecedents have held the congressional seat for all but eight years from when Andrew Jackson was first elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1796 as the state's single at-large representative up to the term of Albert Gallatin Watkins ending in 1859. Andrew Johnson, the 17th President of the United States, represented the district from 1843 to 1853. The first was one of four districts in Tennessee whose congressman did not resign when Tennessee seceded from the Union in 1861. Thomas Amos Rogers Nelson was re-elected as a Unionist the name used by a coalition of Republicans, Northern Democrats and anti-Confederate Southern Democrats to the 37th Congress, but he was arrested by Confederate troops while en route to Washington, D.C. and taken to Richmond. Nelson was paroled and returned home to Jonesboro, where he kept a low profile for the length of his term. Like the rest of East Tennessee, slavery was not as common in this area as the rest of the state due to its mountain terrain, which was dominated by small farms instead of plantations. The district was also the home of the first exclusively abolitionist periodicals in the nation, the Manumission Intelligencer and the Emancipator, founded in Jonesboro by Elihu Imbrie in 1819. Due to these factors, this area supported the Union over the Confederacy in the Civil War, and identified with the Republican Party after Tennessee was readmitted to the Union in 1867, electing candidates representing the Unionist Party a merger of Republicans and pro Union Democrats both before and after the war. This allegiance has continued through good times and bad ever since, with Republicans dominating every level of government. While a few Democratic pockets exist in the district's urban areas, they are not enough to sway the district. The district typically gives its congressmen long tenures in Washington, indeed, it elected some of the few truly senior Southern Republican congressmen before the 1950s. Only eight people have represented it since 1921. List of representatives Historical district boundaries See also Tennessee's congressional districts List of United States Congressional Districts Sources Political Graveyard Database of Tennessee Congressmen